Hi and well welcome to Electrical Engineering Planet. In this lecture, we will continue creating basic circuits. But today, we will create a circuit that could be controlled as forward or reverse. Also, it will work as star delta starting. So we are creating a mixture between a circuit that could work as forward or reverse. Also, another circuit that could work as star delta. So, this motor will be selected to be forward or reverse direction from a selector and then we will start this motor to work as star delta. So, let's start creating our circuit. From electrotechnical IEC, I will choose power, then let's choose energy sources, three phase, and this is our three phase power source. Perfect. And then, now I will choose a main circuit breaker from motor starter. This is our three pole contactor, or ma uh, main circuit breaker, sorry. So this is our main circuit breaker, three pole circuit breaker. Put it here. Now I will bring a two contactors, one for forward and another one for reverse. So, from here contactor poles, I will choose two contactors. This one as forward, close this for now, choose another one to be reverse. Let's now zoom in a little bit. So, this is K1 as forward and this is K2 as reverse. Now, let's bring another two contactors. So, this one of those two contactors will be considered as the main contactor in star delta circuit. So, we still don't have the delta contactor and the star contactor. So, we will bring another two contactors. This one, I will uh, consider it as delta. So, this K3 is delta contactor. And this K4 will be considered as star contactor. From protection, let's bring an overload, thermal overload protection to the main circuit. Perfect. Let's now bring our motor, three phase asynchronous or induction motor, with six ends because we want to control it as a star and delta. Let's put it here. Perfect. And now we got the power circuit. Now, from power wires, three power wires, let's connect our power circuit. This is the main circuit, the main circuit breaker. But we have here two circuit breakers. I want this one to be forward direction and this one to be controlling the reverse direction. So now I will choose power wire as a single wire and connect it here to this second contactor which will be considered as the reverse contactor. From the end here I will make an interchanging in cables. This one will be connected to the second wire and this second will be connected to the first wire to make an interchanging in power source which will make the motor to rotate as reverse. So now if this contactor is working this motor will be in forward direction. If this contactor is working now the motor will be in reverse direction. Now let's connect those as star and delta. This one is a star. Perfect. We will connect them together to be star. This is a three power wires which will be connected here to the other three ends. Now here we will connect it as delta. Let's choose single wire and connect it to those wires.
let's zoom in a little bit as you can see this contactor is connected to u1 v1 w1 here u1 will be connected to w2 and v1 will be connected to u2 and w1 will be connected to v2 now our power circuit is ready this is forward and reverse contactors and also one of them will be the main contactor and those two contactors are star delta now let's move on and create the control circuit here from power energy sources single phase i will choose a single phase source let's drag and drop it here then let's move on to control category here from protection i will choose a single pole circuit breaker this is a single pole circuit breaker let's put it here here from switches i will choose a normally closed switch let's drag and drop it here this is will be the emergency stop after that we need the normally closed auxiliary contact from overload let's double click here let's add a new contact this contact will be normally closed double click on it press ok let's now close and as you can see here this is a normally closed auxiliary contact from the overload let's put it here now we need a start push button so let's drag and drop this push button normally open push button because it will be the start push button now i need to choose between two contactors forward and reverse directions so we need a multiple switch or multi-position switch so let's choose from here this two input or two position switch let's drag and drop it here and here let's do a right click and from transformation i will do a horizontal flip perfect let's now bring the two coils for the two contactors k1 and k2 here from contactor coils i will choose this ac or dc contactor coil it's working for both ac and dc let's bring one for this k1 and bring another one for k2 perfect let's double click on this contactor and i will tell it that it's related to the contactor or coil of the contactor kf1 yes perfect so this one is now connected to this coil double click on the other contactor and let's tell it it's related to kf2 okay and perfect now k1 and k2 are related to this contactor and this contactor let's rearrange the two contactors so now as you can see we have this forward or reverse contactor which will work as the main contactor still we have other two contactors which is star and delta contactors now we need a timer beside this main contactor so here from relay coil i will choose this relay coil of a slow operation so this is an on delay timer double click on it and here from this electrical characteristics i will choose delay on operate and here i will give it 10 seconds so this is zero day zero hour zero minute 10 seconds press ok ok and now it's working after 10 seconds it will convert from star to delta now let's start connect our circuit so this is the power or the line connected to the circuit breaker then to the normally closed switch or emergency switch then to the normally closed contact from the overload thermal overload 
then to the start switch, then to the selector. Now the selector will choose between two contactors. It will choose between K1 or K2. Also, the power here will be directly to the timer to start working. Now let's connect the neutral to the other ends of the contactors or the coil of the contactors. Now we need to connect two other contactors which is star and delta contactors. So let's choose from contactor coil, another coil of a contactor and another one. Let's double click on this star contactor and I will call it as KF4. So now it's related to this coil of the contactor. Also this delta contactor I will double click on it and choose KF5 to be connected to it. So as you can see this is K4 and K5 star and delta. Now I will bring two auxiliary contacts from this timer to make those contactors work and stop. So here from relay contacts I will choose a normally closed contact here and I will connect it to this timer which is called KF3. So I will choose here KF3. Okay. Perfect. I will bring another one which is normally open and I will also connect it to KF3. So now as you can see this is an on delay timer. So at the beginning it will start to count until 10 seconds. Before the 10 seconds this one will be normally closed and this one will be normally open. After 10 seconds this will open and this will close. So it will change working the star to delta. Let's now connect the two wires. Input wires. Perfect. Now I will make here an electrical interlock to ensure that those two contactors will never work at the same time because it will make a short circuit. So as we said before we will bring two normally closed contacts. One here. I will make this contact related to the delta contactor. So I will call it KF5. Press OK. Bring another one here and I will make it related to KF4. So now when star is working it will open this normally closed contact to ensure that delta will never work at the same time and when delta is working it will open the circuit to ensure that star will never work at the same time. Let's now connect our circuit. Perfect. And now we are ready. But still here the start is working as jogging. We need a latched contact from the main contactor which could be K1 or K2. So we will bring two normally open contact, one from K1 and one from K2 to make a latched contact or holding contact. So let's bring one and connect it to one KF1. And let's bring another one and connect it to KF2. Now let's connect it in parallel with our start push button. Now our circuit is ready. We still 
didn't make an electrical interlock between K1 and K2. And this is a big problem actually. If those two contactors work at the same time for any reason, this will make a short circuit between L1 and L2. Because this contactor is making an interchanging between L1 and L2. So it will make a short circuit. So we need now to create two normally closed contacts. This one will be related to K2 and this one will be related to K1 as we did in star and delta. So let's delete this wire, right click on it and press delete, also delete this wire. And here I will choose two normally closed contact, this one, and I will connect it to K2. And I will connect this one to K1, press OK. Let's now connect our circuit. And now we are ready. Let's simulate our circuit. As you can see here, we will close the main circuit breaker for power circuit and the main circuit breaker for control circuit. Now, this selector, I will choose it to be connected to K1. So this motor will rotate in forward direction. Now let's press start and boom. Now this main contactor is working and this contactor star contactor is working. And as you can see, this is the forward direction. After 10 seconds, it will move to work as Delta. And now, as you can see, we are working on Delta on forward direction to reverse the direction of the motor. Let's stop it. Now this is an emergency stop or stop push button. Now let's move this switch to be connected to K2. Now let's press start again. And as you can see, the motor is working on a star on the reverse or anti-clockwise direction. After 10 seconds, it will move from star to delta and still moving in the anti-clockwise direction. That was it for today's video. And in the upcoming videos, we will learn much more about advanced circuits. So consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.